Hey bookworms, it's Jade from Bedtime Bookworm. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do my September monthly recommendations video. Monthly recommendations is a Goodreads group hosted by Trina from Between Chapters and Kayla Rain. I'll link both their channels and the Goodreads group down below in case you want to join us. So the topic for September is science fiction. When I was looking for recommendations for this, I realized that I don't read a lot of like hardcore science fiction books. A lot of the science fiction I read are dystopians. I really like dystopians and reading about different dystopian societies so I have a few dystopians on my list but I tried to pick out five different science fiction books that I could recommend that I think are all slightly different so that I could provide you guys with some variety. For my first recommendation if you're looking for a science fiction book that's post-apocalyptic and has aliens I definitely recommend the fifth wave series by Rick Yancey. I read the series over the summer and I really enjoyed it. This series is about Cassie and what happened to her once aliens show up on Earth and basically kill like the majority of the population. It follows Cassie as she tries to survive in this dangerous new world and as she tries to find her little brother. The series is action-packed. I was constantly kept guessing about what was going to happen next and of course it has a little bit of romance as well. I also thought it was very thought-provoking and it explores what happens to society when you take away our humanity. Like how do you live in a world where you can't trust anybody? I listened to this whole series on audiobook. I think the narrators are really great and if you enjoy listening to audiobooks I definitely recommend giving this series a try on audio. So if a girl trying to survive in a world where aliens have destroyed basically everything sounds interesting to you then you should give this series a try. If you're looking for a science fiction series that's set on another planet I would like to recommend The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. If you've been around my channel you have probably heard me talk about this before because it's one of my favorite series ever. So this series is about Todd who lives on a planet far far away where everybody can hear each other's thoughts including the thoughts of plants and animals and there are no women. Basically this is a chase story where Todd is running from somebody throughout the whole book. What I love most about this series is that to me it's more than just about the characters in the plot. I feel like each book presented me with a larger overarching theme that was really thought provoking it went beyond the scope of just the story. The book is told from the point of view of Todd who is illiterate so the first book can be a little hard to read because it's written the way words sound. This did take a little getting used to at first but I did get used to it and it gets less further on in the series. I know some people find the writing style to be a little frustrating so I just want to put out there that it does improve over the course of the series but I also want to say that I reread The Knife of Never Letting Go on audiobook and I think that if that writing style or the way Todd speaks is hard for you to read I think listening to it is a lot easier and I also thought that the way everybody could hear each other's thoughts made more sense on the audiobook than when I was reading it so this is definitely an audiobook that I would recommend so if you're looking for a science fiction book that's set on another planet and is about more than just what the plot is about then I definitely recommend The Knife of Never Letting Go the next science fiction book I want to recommend is also by Patrick Ness and it's more than this. Patrick Ness is one of my new favorite authors and even though I've only read the Knife of Never Letting Go trilogy and more than this, I've loved all four of these books. This is about a boy who at the very beginning of the book commits suicide and then he wakes up naked and alone and he doesn't know if he's alive or if he's dead, if he's in heaven or if he's in hell. About half of the book is from the time period after the boy commits suicide and about half the book is told in flashbacks from before his suicide and kind of like what led up to his suicide. This book obviously touches on some heavy topics including suicide and emotionally abusive parents and the main character is also gay and the flashbacks kind of encompass his coming out story. Again I found this book to be really thought provoking and about more than just what was actually going on in the book. It made me think about life and just some other really big picture things. <laughs> I, that I can't seem to put into words. It's one of the reasons why I love Pat.
Patrick Nesson's books. They're all about more than just like the actual plot. They have some overarching like bigger themes. So I recommend this book if you're looking for a science fiction that has a contemporary but also dystopian feel and has a little bit of diversity as well because the main character is gay. The next science fiction series that I want to recommend is definitely one of my all-time favorites and it is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. For those of you who don't know, The Lunar Chronicles is a series of fairy tale retellings that are set in a futuristic science fiction world, but it still retains very much of that fairy tale and magical feel to it. So the first book is Cinder and it's a retelling of Cinderella. The second book is Scarlet, which is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. And the third book is Cress, which is a retelling of Rapunzel. And then the fourth and final book is Winter, which is a retelling of Snow White. When I talk about this series, I like to say that it kind of transcends genres because it, in all technicality, is definitely a science fiction with the space travel and cyborgs and stuff. But it also has elements of dystopian and post-apocalyptic, obviously retellings, and elements of fantasy as well, all rolled into one series. I think the series is so unique and creative. I recommend this series to anybody who is interested because I think it has something to offer to everyone. So if you're looking for a fresh take on science fiction, I definitely recommend The Lunar Chronicles. The last science fiction series that I'm going to recommend today is one that I think is definitely underrated, and that is The Match series by Ali Condi. The Match series is a science fiction dystopian, and it's set in a world where the government controls everything. The government controls like what your job is and even who you get to marry. The ideals of this society is conformity. Everybody's basically just supposed to follow the rules. To me, this is very reminiscent of the world in The Giver. What I found to be the most interesting about this series was this dystopian world where, in all essence, creativity has been eradicated. Back when this society was being formed, the people in charge decided that humans as a whole were like too overstimulated, there's too much information out in the world. So the society destroyed everything that was like artistic and creative. Everything that exists in this world exists for a specific purpose. Creativity doesn't really serve a purpose, so it no longer exists. When the main character in this series discovers art for the first time or hears music, then the way that she feels about them made me appreciate being able to have those things more because I hadn't really thought about not having those things. So while in a lot of ways this series is a typical YA dystopian, you know, with a love triangle, I feel like this take on a world without creativity is just really interesting and I really enjoyed reading about a world like that. This series doesn't really have a lot of fans out there, which really surprises me because I really enjoyed it when I read it. So if a science fiction world where creativity doesn't exist anymore sounds at all interesting to you, I definitely recommend the MASH series. Well, that's all I have for now. If you have read any of these books and have thoughts you'd like to share about them with me, or if you have your own science fiction recommendations to recommend to me, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bookworms, keep reading. Bye! Because I was, I, I would like to recommend, I would like to recommend the, the, the I would like to, um, but I've loved everything, um, Fresh take, um, uh, the government controls, like, what, what your job is, and bye!